today I'm going to be showing you how to add player name tags containing information such as health right below the player. And this even updates automatically, such as when I hit the player, let me actually try to kill. There we go. You can see right now that it works flawlessly and it even deletes itself when the player is dead. So let me continue writing to our cow canoon plugin that we are building throughout this series. Now for this video specifically, I highly suggest you watch the video about events because I assume that you already watched it and you understand how to register this player join event so you pretty much should understand this code that is right here if you if you don't understand this code check out the video about events and also we're going to be dealing with scoreboards and i do have a video titled scoreboards in this youtube tutorial series which is very new please also make sure to check it out otherwise you might not have the full understanding that you need to actually know why the code works so before we go if you already have watched the scoreboard video um, and you should have a repetitive task right here. For those of you guys that don't have that, that's fine. But if you do have that for this video, I do recommend you actually comment this out so you don't have two different scoreboards. I'll discuss how to mitigate this at the end of this video. But those of you guys that are following every single video in this chapter, obviously, I want to save you guys the trouble. Comment this out and follow me right here because we're going to be creating a new scoreboard. So when the player joins, we simply want to open up bucket get scoreboard manager and create a new scoreboard by calling get new scoreboard because we're going to be simply assigning this board to the player and right here i can simply type in event uh, get player and then player set scoreboard to the board that we just made now on the scoreboard we're going to be using something called criteria which is really cool and this helps us track how much player has health without any sort of expensive crazy event system so on the board we're going to be registering a new objective the name of the objective can be anything i'll just call it health or you can even do something like your main class cow canoon get instance get name and then <clears throat> just underscore health there we go now for the criteria class it's a bit confusing if you want to code for minecraft 1.8 you're gonna want to have the criterias class ready and then simply go and type in health however if you're want to if you want to just support the latest minecraft release which is what i recommend you just type in criteria without the plural s and then health you can also see we have a lot more options right here and then finally below criteria comes the display name and for that reason i just recommend going into so i can just type in unicode hard symbol and i can just go and i can copy any one any symbol that i like for example this one is really nice you have to copy you have to actually copy the text you can't really paste an image right here so i could be doing something like this however this will show let me actually show you what this will do so if i type in health just like this one you can see this is what it shows right but we need to change this and into the actual mog symbol for hearts and then we can even add the chat color chat color red for this one and this one is getting a bit long so let me just split it on different lines there we go so that's it once again we're making a new objective we're prepending our plugins name and then underscore health to make sure that the objective is unique just to our plugin to avoid any other plugins conflict then we bind it uh, to the health criteria so that bucket can automatically follow the actual health without us doing any funky stuff with it because bucket does everything automatically for us and then we're simply opening chat color class and adding it together with our MOG symbol. Now, before I go, we have to get, uh, we have to actually set display slot. And then as IntelliJ guessed it, the display slot is going to be below name such that it will show right below the name. I also made this right here. So in your code, you probably just noticed that there is a cut because I did make it, made a cut. So obviously use your brain, uh, place the variable right here, call the variable, call set display slot and set it below name. Also make sure that the player has the scoreboard set, but I, I did it at the very beginning. And now it's time to test it. As you can see right here, we have 13, which is the score, which is a bit tricky because you can't really see it and the reason is that the health itself contains the score and it is being managed by bucket automatically 
So when I hit the player, Bucket will automatically make sure to update it, including when the player heals himself, when I eat, I don't know, golden apple or whatever, my health goes up, you're going to see that being reflected right here. That's it for today. I can give you a couple of extra tips. So you can also use um, RGB colors. However, however, for that, we need to be deleting the org.bucket package or in chat control, uh, chat color, not chat control, and then using the, from, the one from the net package. And then instead of having red right here, you can just type in off and then the string is going to be, I don't know, any RGB color. That's the first tip. The other tip is you can obviously use any other criteria right here. Okay, any other criteria, team kill, trigger, XP level, player kill count, everything. Now, this will be managed by Minecraft, so you have to make sure not to delete uh, the data folder. And this is typically stored in your main worlds folder inside, I think, data. No, inside player data, actually. I think it's stored right here. So if you mess up with this, then obviously the other, the player kills and uh, yeah, statistics, these are going to be deleted as well. If you don't want to do that, obviously you have to go and create the more complicated system, which brings me to, to the final point. Um, if you want to create your own setup with your own scores, etc., etc., you can just have a look at the board class, the board video that I mentioned at the very beginning. Um, and basically right here, if you want to keep using the board class plus the health class, then you simply need to delete all that and just copy, I think these two lines right here. So let me just delete that. And then inside your board class, which again, I teach you this in a separate video, I think what we can do is we can just place it right here, rename this, and then do this. And I think that this will work, I think. Oh, what happened? It does not work. Obviously, guys, I just forgot to uncomment this one. So if you did comment this, now you can just uncomment it. And if I join the game again, there we go. Now we can see a beautiful, actually not that beautiful. I don't like that color, but it's, it's a great demo. It holds up for a demonstration and it updates the same. Now, sometimes there is a problem. I noticed that when I just joined the game, it is going to say zero right here. And I ha have to actually hit the player. I would suspect that this is a bug inside paper or spigot or something that I have configured because I think that for this particular testing server, I actually disabled statistics. I disabled a bunch of settings just to make the server go faster. If you have the same issue, then what I would suggest you do is you would just call entity damage. So right here, you can get the player. And then you can just damage the player by some insanely small amount to force bucket to update it something like this one and it should work or maybe you can just call the method player set health inside of which you put player get health effectively nothing will do but it hopefully will trigger that auto update okay guys this is it for this quick video hopefully it was quick now i want to invite you guys to something quite special this took us over six months to build and it, it contains everything about how to make your own Minecraft plugins and how to build your own unique servers. So if you want to learn plugins on the highest possible level, click the link in the description and see Project Orion. Project Orion is a hybrid training course. Not only it contains seven weeks of things like this one, just 10 times deeper. And actually we have so much more content than the entire YouTube can possibly cover because of the sheer uh, structure of our learning academy platform. We actually developed a custom platform just for that course. Plus we have our, myself and a bunch of other instructors twice per week, jumping live on a one-on-one -on -one call with you and providing you help. So if you're gonna get stuck, you say, this line doesn't work, great. You can actually go on Zoom call, you can share your screen and you can explain to the instructor that this does not work and we can then help you, assist you live in real time, which is really amazing. And I'm pretty sure that this can save you not hours, but days and weeks of your time. So again, I invite you guys to check the link in the description. The class is called Project Orion. I'll see you guys there. If you enjoyed this video, give it a nice thumbs up, subscribe to this channel for more videos like that and have an amazing day or a great evening.